overtime developing tonight. The Mark Meadows legal team is deploying what some legal experts consider a risky strategy, putting their client, the former White House chief of staff, on the stand to testify about what he did after the 2020 election. Fox 5 team reporter Randy Travis was there for Meadows' testimony. Randy is live outside the federal building in downtown Atlanta. So what happened today, Randy? Hey, Christina Rush. Yeah, Mark Meadows really does not want to be tried in the Fulton County Courthouse. He doesn't want to even be tried at all. That's why he spent all day here at the federal building arguing that anything he's accused of doing in the indictment, he did as a federal officer, and that way he should not be tried in a state courthouse. Now, I'll tell you more about his testimony in just a minute. The third and final witness today was Secretary of State Brad Raffensperger. He was questioned about that January 2nd, 2021 call when Donald Trump asked him to find enough votes so he could win Georgia. Did he think he was talking to federal officers, he was asked. No, Raffensperger said, I thought I was talking to the Trump campaign. Now, Meadows set up that call. He told the court his job was so broad, everything he did was political in some way. At first, no one was sure former Trump chief of staff Mark Meadows would even attend the hearing. Instead, he did even more, answering questions from his attorneys and prosecutors about decisions that now have him indicted. He admitted to every single thing alleged against him in the indictment today. So does that uh, do him a disservice? Yes. Meadows testified repeatedly that he was acting under the color of a federal officer when he tried to get Georgia officials to retract their belief that Joe Biden was the lawful winner. Okay, all right. So, every, Mr. President, everybody is on the line. And just so this is Mark Meadows, the chief of staff. Meadows even arranged that key phone call between Donald Trump and Georgia Secretary of State Brad Raffensperger. Uh, Mr. Secretary, I was uh, hopeful that, you know, in a spirit of uh, cooperation and compromises, there, there's something that uh, we can at least have a discussion to look at some of these allegations uh, to, uh, to find a, a path forward that's less litigious. Meadows wants U.S. District Judge Steve Jones to dismiss the two felony counts he faces in Fulton County, or at the very least, move the state case to federal court, where the jury pool would come from multiple counties, not just Fulton, where Biden won 73% of the vote. But prosecutors called his request meritless and futile, pointing out he texted investigator Francis Watson December 27, 2020, asking if she could speed up her work if the Trump campaign assists financially. He also traveled to Cobb County, hoping to witness a signature match audit. The trip to Cobb County, he says that was all his idea. He was in Atlanta visiting his kids, and he just thought it would be a good idea to go up there with his whole Secret Service uh, group and see what was going on. Did that seem believable to you? No. Judge Jones did not rule on that motion today. Remember, there are four other uh, defendants and perhaps others in addition to those four who are asking to move their cases from the state court to the federal court. No matter what Judge Jones decides, though, it's certain that his decision will be appealed to the 11th Circuit Court of Appeals here in Atlanta and perhaps ultimately to the U.S. Supreme Court. Russ, Christine, back to you. Well, Randy, time is of the essence here. So once the judge hears all the testimony and digests all the information, do you know how soon there could be a, a decision? I'm not quite sure, Christine. I mean, the arraignments are now scheduled for the first week in September, so ideally he makes a decision before that, before Mark Meadows has to uh, appear before a Fulton County Superior Court judge to be arraigned on that indictment. All right, Randy Travis uh, reporting live for us tonight. Thank you, Randy, so much. The date has been set for the next step in the Fulton County case against the former president and his 18 co-defendants. The plea and arraignment date is Wednesday, September 6th. The former president is the first on the docket with a 930 arraignment. Misty Hampton is the last on the docket at 3 p.m.